Hello everyone, welcome to Legend of Grimrock. This is an RPG with a lot of old school influences, or so I've heard, I really wouldn't know myself. So basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to expand my tastes by just trying new things. So it's definitely not going to be a full playthrough. I just want to give it a shot. Um, I have a, a sort of frustrating experience with RPGs in the sense that there's a lot of RPGs I've tried to like. Like, I've, I've really, really tried hard to like a lot of RPGs, sort of more classical and uh, sort of stat-heavy RPGs. I've really tried to like them, but I really have trouble actually getting into them. I remember I played uh, one of the Neverwinter Nights. I'm not sure which one. It might have been just the original Neverwinter Nights. I remember trying to play it again and again. Like, I'd play it for like an hour or so, couldn't get into it, and then, I don't know, months later I'd think, oh, it's, it's got to be a good game, there's so much depth here, there's so many things to do. And I know, you know, I know it was a good game, so I'd install it again. And once again, I couldn't get into it, and I couldn't get into it, and I tried that again and again until eventually I finally lost my CD key, which was on the, the manual or the jewel case or whatever. More recently, I tried to play Dragon Age, and also couldn't get into it, even though I know it was a good game. So I'm a bit frustrated with sort of classical stat-heavy RPGs. I really want to like them. I know there's so much depth there. And even though the games I just mentioned are fairly different from Legend of Grimrock, they're still RPGs, and there's still this is still relatively stat-heavy. So I kind of file it under the same thing. I don't know, there's something about lots of stats in an RPG that kind of annoys the hell out of me. I don't know what it is. But, again, I know this is a good game. I've played it for a little while, a very short while, just enough to familiarize myself with it, and yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, expand my tastes, just try some new things, not commit to a full playthrough, but just try some new things. Alright, so Legend of Grimrock is available from Steam, and GOG, and probably other places as well, I'll have links to all that stuff in the description. Right before I click New Game, just listen to the menu music for a second, it's really, really good. Yeah, is that cool or what? Sounds awesome. Okay, let's get into a new game. Sure, normal's fine. I do not want to create my characters. And I certainly don't want old school mode, which gives you no map. You have to actually write down the dungeon. Like, you have to map it out. No thanks. Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than the histories of men have been written. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats toward the peak. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship, the court accuses them of terrible treasonous deeds, but, by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them, only darkness and justice awaits. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain. But will you be able to lead them through the dark into the freedom that awaits at the base of Mount Grimrock? Legend of Grimrock. By the way, the answer to the question at the end there, will you be the one to lead them to safety, basically? The answer to that question is no. No, I, I will not be the one. Okay. So here you go. It's a 
You know, one of the things that really surprised me about this game is that I just assumed it was turn-based. Because it's kind of old school, I just I just assumed it was turn-based. I was pretty surprised when I encountered the first enemy and I thought, why is it attacking me? Please stop hitting me in the face. Where's the pause button? Oh, there is none. <laughs> I don't know, I just assumed it'd be turn-based. But it does have a... Uh, uh, I was going to say hex-based movement system. I guess it's not hex-based. Uh, Square-based. Tile-based movement system. Like this. So you can move in tiles. And you can move around. Uh, look around, rather. And, well, it's 3D. And it's actually really damn good looking. I know the people behind this game are... Uh, they're a very small team. A very small amount of people actually worked on this. But they've obviously rather smartly uh, chosen to tackle something that's relatively relatively easy to make in that they you know they tackled a dungeon which is really easy to tile and stuff like that so they chose the scope of where to put their graphics really well like the, from what I've seen there's not a huge amount of graphical variety but they went for quality over quantity so not a huge amount of variety but what they did pick just looks really good I mean it's a really good looking game I'm really impressed so far Man, can I view a translation of this? Yeah. Choose your fate, perish in this cell, or pick up the torch. No, I don't really like that torch. I think I'm just going to perish in my cell. Oh, okay, I'll pick it up. So, here's my team members down here. You can move them around. Which is fun. Whee! I believe only the people on the very top. The two people on the top are the only ones that can attack, I think. Or maybe they're the only ones that can do melee attacks? I'm not really sure. But yes, where you actually put them does actually matter. So I think I've basically got two kind of general swordy people. Here. Let's see, what are you good at? Yeah, so you're good at maces. Looks like you have one skill point or whatever in maces. Uh, you're good with swords and armor, so yeah, you're a general kind of sword and armor person. You're just brute strength sort of person, I believe, and I think you're more like a rogue, right, aren't you? Yeah, dodge, daggers, throwing weapons, stuff like that, and you are a mage, I think. Mm-hmm. And apparently you cast spells using this system. You need to know the combinations of symbols to actually cast spells. And I know absolutely zero. You can just look them up in a wiki, but obviously you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to learn them in-game, I think, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, again, it's pretty repetitive in the environments, but it just it looks really good. Like, it's really impressive. I mean, it's a dungeon. It's, uh, it's full of stones and bones and manacles and whatnot, so let's move out here. And there are secrets to find, by the way. As we will see very, very soon. Alright, let's grab another one of these. Apparently I'm missing, even though I'm just hitting the air. Not sure how that's possible. Anyway. Yeah, by the way, how I'm moving the view, you can just press, uh, what is it, uh, Q and E. Just rotate like this, but... I found that if you hold down the right mouse button, it allows you to move one up to one square to the left or right. And then if you release it, so if I'm aiming here and then I do that and then I move over here to the left and then release, it kind of switches to that. So it's a little bit more jerky like this than just pressing the arrow keys or the the Q and E to switch. A little bit more jerky. So apologies if that looks weird, but it feels so much better to do that than pressing these keys. This just feels like I'm trying to drive a tank or something. This one actually feels natural, sort of. Okay, big club. Let's give that to Mr. Bashy Demon Dude. What is he? Is a centaur? No, not a centaur. Uh, what are you? Mork. Yeah, what exactly are you? Minotaur, that's the word I was looking for. Minotaur, not a centaur. Eh, Minotaur, centaur, Megatar, whatever. Close enough. Grab you. Can never have too many torches. Eh, 
And we have our first puzzle. How shall I overcome this? Oh, I know. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, there's actually kind of a, a physics system of sorts. You can actually pick up items and you can put them on the ground and activate pressure plates. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard that picking up torches can also activate certain things, trigger maybe something to open or whatnot. So even though everybody has a torch, which means I'm not going to pick up anymore, it is worth at least picking them up, even if you're just going to put them right back. Key? Okay. I, I, I think I just put it in your inventory. Yes, I did. Okay. It's funny. Um, when I was playing this, just to get familiar with it, I actually somehow managed to lose the key. I, I somehow put it in a place where I couldn't get it. Like, it just disappeared from the game world. Which is very strange. Okay, let's use that key. I think I'm about to face my first enemy, but before that... Let's pick up the stone. So let's see if this does anything. Nope. Okay. Oh no, not quite time to face an enemy. Okay, need another key for that. Loose rock. Okay, yeah, so this is the first sort of secret thing you find. Loose rock. And if you go here, you might notice, if you look closely, this. Yep. Obviously, later on in the game, it's not going to say loose rock, so you're going to have to actually find it yourself. I should actually be on the lookout for those from here on out. Any little bits in the stone I can click on. Just click on everything. Nope, it's clear. It's gonna turn into some sort of OCD nightmare. Like every wall. Oh, and there's my first enemy. Gigantic snail! It's okay, he's just gonna chill there. I'm just gonna leave him. Hmm, I don't think I want to open that yet. Okay, let's take him out. So, combat seems to work like this. You right-click on whatever weapon you want to attack with. And that attacks. And it seems like you just want to dodge all the time. Let me demonstrate. So, if you just keep, like, maneuverability seems really important. Oh god, I think I'm in a corner. Oh, that was stupid. <clears throat> well, let's hope I can kill you quickly. Come on. Bash him in the face. Okay. Mmm, snail slice. Tastes goopy. So yes, maneuverability is key. When they're starting to move to a tile, it seems that you can attack them in that tile. So if, it's, if the snail's like moving to here right in front of me. I could just attack while it's moving. And then I could just move away so it can't attack me. So you kind of... Every fight seems to be like a dance. Where you're just constantly running away, pretty much. Alright. Let's put some armor on. Knives. I think these are throwing knives. Hold on, let me check that. Okay, let's give you some pants, Minotaur dude. Let's give you some boots. Let me make sure these are throwing knives. Oh, I don't think it's a throwing knife, it's just a knife. Okay, let's let's put you up front, actually. Yeah. Alright, gotta look for secrets. Don't see any. Oh, this is the throwing knife. Yeah, all right. Let's put that in your other hand. <laughs> the mage has nothing in his hands but two torches. He's probably offended by my lack of use of his mage abilities. 
Although, to be honest, he is a mage. He should have, like, I don't know, memorized some spells. I mean, what, did he get hit in the head and develop amnesia? How come he doesn't remember any of his spells? Okay. So, actually, let's switch these. There we go. So, do this. Ow. So I can attack and then move away. And then uh, attack and then move away. I keep missing. There we go. And then wait for him to move. C come on. And that pretty much seems to be how it works. Where are you going? Wait, wait, where are you going? Pick a side. P pick a side. What are you doing? And I missed. Wonderful. <laughs> I think he's actually going the opposite way that I'm looking to try to dodge my attacks. Clever. Let's see if he goes this way. Yep. He does. Oh god, there's another one. Come on. Yeah, it's uh, not the fastest space combat. It is real time, but definitely not super fast. I actually heard that this is something this game got criticized for quite a bit. Is the combat system being kind of just a bit dull. And like once you figure out how to just evade them like this, it kind of becomes just boring and super easy. And I definitely see where they're coming from. This is, honestly, it's pretty boring so far. I mean, this is the very early game, so... Obviously, things are probably going to get more complex. I certainly hope so. But I definitely don't think it's the strongest combat system. This one seems kind of dumb. It's just going right to where I'm looking, rather than trying to dodge me like the other one. Oh, dear God, please die already. There you go, now you're trying to dodge me. Or not. Okay. Grab that slice, which I think just allows you to heal a bit. <laughs> Got about five kilograms of snail slices just in her pockets. That can't be pleasant. <laughs> Do I have the key for this? No. Nope. I don't think I've actually been beyond this point before. So I think I'm in totally unexplored territory. I gotta keep on the lookout for loose rocks. I keep forgetting to check. Okay, what are you? Baked maggot. Ew! That is disgusting. That is a huge... It's a... It's a one kilogram, a 1.1 kilogram maggot. That is fucking nasty. Sandals, who should I go to? Uh, let's go to you. There you go. You have one protection on your feet. You have protection against slightly sharp, uncomfortable things on the ground. Yeah, she'll survive. She'll be fine. Loincloth. Hmm. I feel like Minotaur should wear loincloths. It just seems like their thing. Then again, it gives no protection. Hmm. And he is kind of a tank. I, I guess I'll give him the normal pants. Okay, who wants the loincloth? Only the most self-confident warriors can be seen on the battlefield wearing, wearing nothing but this garment. Lowers your willpower, raises your attack power. Um, I don't know. You want them? Here you go, dude. Have fun. Oh yeah, there's a way to access the map too, isn't it? Is it here? No, no oh god, I just slept. <laughs> Taking a nap in the dungeon. Don't mind the dozens of horrible, gigantic spiders that have now, now crawled on top of me while, while I'm sleeping. 
Let's just ignore them. Oh yeah, here we go. And you can apparently actually add notes. Pretty sweet. So, if you find, like, a locked door or something, this is probably a door. You can just do something like that. Whoops. No. No, don't do that. No. Bad. Pretty cool. There's a lot of games that I wish had maps that you can put notes on. Okay, I don't think I've been down here, right? Oh, I guess you don't access the map that way. Can I just press M for the map? Apparently not. Fine. Oh, this is actually not... The door. The door is here. Hello, 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 hello. Hmm. You know, I know there's secrets to find, but I wonder if there's traps as well. There's gotta be traps, right? I mean, it's a dungeon. There's gotta be. Pit root bread. Huh. Look like a sponge to me. Consumable. One kilogram. That is a lot of bread. I guess it's made out of pits and roots. Hmm, what's this? To close the pit, something needs to fly. Oh, yes, right. That would be a stone. What the? Huh? Where'd it go? I think I might have forgotten how to throw. Hold on. Alright. Where the, where's it going? I'm losing all my stones. Ah! Oh. Huh. I was thinking it was going to stop me from actually going into it. Uh, I guess not. Oh, it looks like the stones dropped. Okay. Right, um, how do you throw things? Is it right-click? What the... What the f hell is that noise? I think maybe I was just... Jesus Christ. Someone's having a party in there. I think maybe I was just clicking too close? I don't know. The stones were literally disappearing. They, like, they weren't even attempted to be thrown. They were just disappearing. What the fuck is that noise? Jesus! Is there construction going on down here? I'm just gonna move forwards. You can't fly. What can't... I know can fly. Stones can fly. Okay. So maybe I just click really far away? Oh, okay. That's weird. Mm, should probably leave those on. And let, oh, no, it stays closed. Okay. Lucky. I'll put it in your hand, because I'm lazy and I don't want to fish around in the inventory for it. What the? Oh, torches go out. Okay. Good to know. Oh. <laughs> right. So it doesn't open up, but it's also not locked, so it will open up when you step on it. Gotcha. Um, I should probably sleep. I'm assuming that heals me? Yeah. Amazingly, my torches didn't go out, even though I slept for like 20 hours. Okay, there we go. You know, I don't really like the look of that face. I feel like it's staring at me. Hmm. Whoa. 
I just heard something open or close. There's something over there. I feel like it's... I feel like it wants something. Either an offering or maybe just my soul. Heal my sight. Okay, so you want like, I don't know, gems in your eyes or something. Gotcha. Okay. And you know what? What do you know? It's got two eyes and there's two pathways. What do you bet the right eye will be over here? Viney. I guess you can call it vinyl. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Come on, root dude. Come on. Come on. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Nice. Oh, it didn't drop anything. Okay, so where's my, like, where's my XP? How close am I to leveling? Hmm, we do, we do actually have food meters. All actions you do consume food. Oh. If you're starving, the bar turns red and you don't regain health and energy. Okay, gotcha. That's cool. That makes sense. A bit of survival element. Experience points. Okay, I'm going to need quite a bit more to level up. I'm only about a third of the way there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well. This just got more interesting. I believe I'm trapped. Okay, I should focus on this one. This is the one I've been attacking. Okay, this is not good. Can you, like, switch people and just, like... Oh, one of them died. Hm. That's unfortunate. I, uh, I do believe I fucked up. I would try to pause it, but, uh... You know, it's real time. Do they come back to life? Or have I just basically lost the game? I'm not really sure. If I sleep, do they return to life? That wouldn't make any sense. But... Then again, I am in a dungeon fighting a gigantic mushroom root person. So... It doesn't have to make sense. Critical hit! Right in the mushroom. Herder cap. Mm-mm-mm, -mm -mm. gonna saute your head? Put it in some risotto, it's gonna be delicious. Right, so, uh, you're dead. Could you, uh, come back to life, please? Could you please come back to life, ma'am? Maybe if I sleep she'll come back to life. Is she alive yet? No. Hmm. This is worrisome. See, it'd probably be a pretty good time to reload if it wasn't for the fact that I'm not going to play long enough for it to actually matter. Oh well. Well, I guess you're not going to need the knife anymore. Hmm. 
Grimcap. Sounds poisonous. A delicious mushroom commonly found in damp underground... I heard you. A delicious mushroom commonly found in damp underground caves. The legendary master... Master Chief! Master Chef of Northampton Palace values them highly as an important ingredient in his finest soups. Hmm. How do I open you? I need to get inside of you, because that's the eye. Hi! Good job. Missed both. There you go, you finally turned around. I'm proud of you. I feel like it's time to eat some food, even though I don't need to. Damn. A couple kilograms of snail. Just perfect. That's all you need. Tar bead. A rare herb. Known for its potent healing properties. Hmm. Well, let's see how potent it is. Can you restore somebody to life? What is that? What did that do? Did I see something open? Hmm? Hmm? Aha! My first genuine secret that I actually found myself. Cool. Dagger. Attack power 7. Let's see how that compares. Oh, it's a hell of a lot better. More attack power, more accuracy, um, even a faster speed. Alright, I'm not sure if having two weapons, like one weapon in each hand, I'm not sure if that actually increases your attack speed or allows you to attack twice. Guess we're about to find out. Cave Nettle. Fairly common herb that flourishes in dark places. It is used to treat snake bites in a prepared form. I thought maybe I missed something. Nope, I'm good to go. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. Yes. Okay, so I can make it fall down. Yes. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put a stone on this. Hi. Come on. <laughs> Alright, next. Wait, are they going around? What are you, where are you going? Wait, why did it close? Oh, there we go. Come on. <laughs> Next. Did I just trap myself? Oh fuck, that was stupid. Uh oh, uh oh, problems. It's okay, they're weak. This thing can't even hit me. Oh, there we go. 
Come on. How can you miss a snail? A gigantic snail with that. That's just sad. Hold on, who's got the other one? There we go. Give them all the mini. Good old mini. Right, um, how do I open this? And for the rest of his days, he was trapped. Uh, they were trapped, rather. There's three of them. Although they're carrying around a dead body, apparently. For the rest of their days, they were trapped inside of this place. Because they were stupid, and they starved to death. Right, um... Try this. It didn't work. Try that. It didn't work. How? What the? Well, now you're just taunting me, right? Rescue me! Is there like a button or something? Hey. Hey. Let me out. Are you actually trapped here permanently? Or is there like a button? Aha. Uh -huh. uh. So, wait. I can't step forwards? The fuck? Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Turn around, yeah. <laughs> and done. See around here, even though I got what I came for. Another stone. Can I pick up these clothes? Yes. Another loincloth. Here you go. Scroll of fire burst. Ooh. He can finally cast something. Okay. Let's see. Oh, apparently it's just the top left. All right. Dump that. Then how do you guess? See this? That? Ooh! Discover new spell. Neat. Gonna have to try that out. It looks super cool. Oh, hi. Ow. Or almost ow. You are quite formidable looking. I'm liking this fireball. It looks like he can cast it even though he's in the back, which is nice. Oh, he needs more energy. Shit. This guy's got a lot of health. So yeah, I still can't cast it, right? Yep. Whew. Ooh. Legionary shield. Alright, so that would go with this guy. The Minotaur is not really meant for using a shield, I think. But... Well, he's got some armor. Yeah, it's gotta be... Shields, right? Probably. <laughs> He's got a dagger and a shield. That is not a typical combo, is it? A pretty horrible one. Oh, here we go. Let's go spear. You get any good with spears? Is it even listed here? 
I don't think it is. Eh, you'll be fine. Fancy door. Very fancy. Scroll. Doors of iron. Great rewards could be found behind these doors. To gain access, look carefully for small details and use your wits. Ooh. In other words, I'm probably not going to be able to open it. What the hell is that? Game. Oh. It's a save game. Place. Wait, you can't just freely save your game? Or. Yeah? So, what's this for? If you can just save your game wherever. Huh? Eh, whatever. It's pretty. Crystal of life. Touch to regain health and restore... Oh! She's alive now. I didn't even realize that. Okay. So if you can make it to the next one, then you can get all your people back. Gotcha. And everybody returns to full. Okay. Wait a minute. Can't reach. Okay, so this guy could attack from the back. With his spells, because it has such a long range. This says can't reach, so what about this guy? He's got a spear. Maybe he can attack from the back. Oh, <gasps> he can! That is really, really cool. Okay. That was a waste of a throwing dagger, knife. Oh, you can get it back. Cool. Scroll of Poison Cloud. Nice. Bottom left. Sanxeren spell fizzles. Okay, so he needs to get better. Yep, not skilled enough. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. Level transition. Okay, I can probably prepare the spell, right? Yeah, you can. Which means I could probably prepare the spell in his other hand, right? Maybe not. Oh yeah, um, I should probably give her a real weapon. I see you. Wonderful. I successfully created debris. Probably no, there's no reason to use my spell here. It's just gonna... It's just a waste. Really? All of them missed? I wonder if the timing matters. Like, do you have to wait for them to be, like, right in front of you? Or just as soon as they start moving, it's fine. I feel like the timing maybe matters. I feel like I get more hits when I attack when they're, like, right in front of me. Okay, so there's two pathways to go. Let's go the other way. I guess, yeah, I guess I totally left behind that iron door. I'm not sure if it's something that you can only... Like, maybe you can only find a way to open it right next to the door? Like, in the general room of the door? Or maybe you can actually open it from somewhere very far away? I don't know. Holy hell. Uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't open that. Yeah, there's like five of them in there. Need a key.
don't need a stone. Alright, this dungeon's pretty big. Doublet. Double. Let's put it on you. Silk hose. Who needs more clothes? You got two things. You've got you've got one thing, and you also are kind of a tank. So let's put it on you. Oh wait, <laughs> you're already wearing pants. Never mind. Uh, you're kind of in the back. You don't really need it, but oh well. He is the squishy. Forty-two hit points. Sixty. 52. Yeah, he's definitely the squishiest. Mole jerky. Mmm. Finger looking good. Dagger. That's the same as this, right? Yep. I don't like the things I'm hearing from here. What is that? Oh, it's one of you. It just hit the other one in the back. Oh my, oh my. Okay, that's not good. Oh, crap. That is actually not good. Okay, you need to die, like, right now. Ow. She's always the one to die. Hmm. Well, at least I know there's friendly fire. Oh, God. Fuck. Ow. God damn it. And I'm trapped in the corner again. That does an am insane amount of damage. Mork gained a level, thank God. Alright, how's the level up system work? And this is why I hate skill points. <laughs> Maces, I haven't even found one. Athletics. So it looks like at level 2 you get strength plus 1? Yes, okay. So if you don't get to that point, it does nothing. Okay. What does this count as? It's not a sword, it's not really a mace, and it's certainly not an axe. I don't know. Probably should replace the torch with an actual weapon, even if it's just a dagger. Maces! Yes. Even though I don't have one. Whatever. A compass? Hmm. For many old-fashioned adventures and explorers, not even a sharp sword is as important a tool as a compass is. Can you actually use it? Oh, yeah, it, it actually works. I'm guessing that's for the people that are playing in old-school mode and want to actually... Come here, Key. And, uh, want to actually map it out. That is quite cool. Hmm. Machete. Well, it's not a mace, but it'll do. Oh, wait, that's not a torch. That's the club. Right. Eh, machete's still probably better. Let's check. Nine. Oh, wow. Actually, maybe not. It's got very poor accuracy. This thing's a lot faster, though. And it has better accuracy. Oh, this thing actually counts as a mace, though. Yeah, I guess I gotta go with this. It counts as a mace. 
What about this? What's the damage? Ten. That's it? I guess the only advantage to that is that it's a reach weapon, which means they can attack from the back. Which is quite nice, but given that there's no real reason to do that, since she's dead, I might as well switch it out with this for now. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I was just in here. I have a key to something. Don't know where. Here? Bingo! Hmm. This is actually missing a torch. Aha! <laughs> I thought that was rather strange. Iron Bazinet. Heavy armor. Okay, you're the heavy armor, dude. Here you go. Alright, your evasion goes down to crap, but you've got good protection. Nice. Shelter left. Cells right. Oh, well, shelter sounds nice. Let's do it. Tar Stone's goal gained a level. Farmer? You'd have to get to five. Which he could do. He's he doesn't really die though. I feel like he should just get better with uh Hold on, what kind of a weapon is this? Oh, it's a reach weapon? It doesn't even list, list a skill. Maybe that's a problem with it. Yeah, okay. So it looks like the skills don't really affect a reach weapon, I guess. Hmm. Well, it seems like he's meant to use a sword. There we go. Bonuses in armor and swords. Hmm. Sandmole hide vest, light armor. Brass key. Yeah, I can't quite reach that. Picked up more stones. Alright, have some old jerky. Good enough. Hold on, what's over here? Oh, stone. Ooh, and a secret. Aha! Poison arrows. Unfortunately, I don't have a bow. Doesn't look good. <laughs> it just sounds like a crow. Come on. Ah. 
Excellent. Whoa, what the? Oh, right, another crystal. No weapons allowed inside. Wait, what do you mean? No weapons allowed inside. How would you stop me from taking a weapon in inside? I see something glowing back there. What is that? Can't tell. Ah, need a key. So close, so far away. Holding cells. Huh. It's a teleportation field, right? Where's it take me? Whoa. What the? I guess I'm just gonna keep teleporting. Seems to work. Hmm. What a strange place. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Oh, just one. <laughs> I can deal. Oh god, there's more. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm now trapped. And I'm getting stabbed in the eye. Oh god. Yep. Well, this guy's got some serious protection. Let's see if I can take one out. Ow. 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 And game over. Okay, well, that's a pretty good place to end it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what I thought it was. Uh, my thoughts really haven't changed. It's impressive. I know it's a good game. I'm really impressed with what they've done, especially with the graphics. Let's load up a game here. Yeah, I mean, they've obviously chosen a very limited set of things to work on. It's a bunch of very easily tileable, like, brick dungeon. You know, moss and bricks and more bricks and more moss. <laughs> There's not a huge amount of variety to the environments, at least so far. So they've chosen a very small amount of things to work on because they're a small team. But, uh, again, they worked on a very small amount of things and made them look very, very good. Is there another one of those? I'm not sure if I clicked on that before. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. So it's definitely a case of quality over quantity. They could have made, you know, a bunch of variety, but I'm sure it wouldn't have been as strong as it as it is here. Oh! Huh. Whitewood wand. Holy crap. This magical staff is a powerful weapon when wielded by a potent mage. Well, you're the only mage. 
So, gives you more energy. Sweet. So yeah, they've worked on a... Uh, they've, they've chosen a very small scope to work on. And they made that small amount of stuff look really, really good. Like, the enemy designs look great. The environments look great. Again, not much variety, but it looks really good. It's super impressive for such a small team. It's just really impressive overall. But again, it's really just... I, I want to like it. I mean, and I do like it, but I want to enjoy it. Right? I want to actually want to keep playing it. And the fact is, I don't. As much as I think it's neat, and I respect it, I just don't really want to keep playing that much. I mean, it's pretty cool. I just found the secret, which is satisfying, but I still don't really want to play that much. I just, I don't really like the combat. I really don't. It's just really dull to me. I don't get anything from it. It's not really that satisfying. And again, just looking at stat menus, which I haven't had to do too much so far, which is quite nice. But I'm sure eventually it's going to become quite important. When you get more equipment and there's more things to combine together and you have more skill points to spend. And I just, I don't really care for stats that much. They just kind of annoy me. I don't know. I mean, I've played quite a few games with stats, so it's not like just the presence of stats alone will turn me off from a game. I think it's just that it's a very... I mean, it's a very old school game, right? And it's literally a dungeon crawler. Well, maybe not literally, since you're not crawling in the dungeon, but yeah, it is very, very much a dungeon crawler. You are in a literal dungeon. And it... It's just... It's not the most interesting environment, really. I mean, going through a dungeon has been done a lot before. I don't find it very interesting, and it's definitely very... pretty generic, and it's... A fantasy setting. I mean, snails, dungeons, wizards, minotaurs, just... That's not really interesting to me. That's always a problem I've had with a lot of RPGs, is a lot of them have very... generic sort of fantasy settings. Elves and dwarves and mages and rogues, and it's just... Eh. It's not my thing. I find it very uninteresting. So I think those are the main reasons. Those are probably the two main reasons why I'm not really into it too much. Is because of the... Very generic fantasy setting. And because of the combat. The combat really is just not satisfying to me. But again, at the same time, I can really respect it. I think it's a well-made game. And it's especially impressive for such a small team. And it's pretty damn cool. And you can eat gigantic chunks of slug meat. And a mushroom. Mmm.